Jen, you've, um, you've been there all along, I recall, as a correspondent being there at court in London with you back in 2010, <laughs> you and Geoffrey. How tiring has it been and uh, how do you feel about getting it to this point? Look, I am absolutely delighted for Julian, for Stella, for the kids and for what it means for journalists that Julian's finally out of prison. So 14 long years, I mean, you were there in London. I walked you into the police station in 2010. And so it was just such a relief and so wonderful to be able to walk him onto that plane in London mm. and to escort him home. I have to say it was a very long journey. I am exhausted. So is he. Uh, we had a number of stops on the way, including a court hearing uh, in the yeah. North Mariana Islands to get back home. But we're just so pleased with this outcome. It couldn't, you know, couldn't have come soon enough. He is a, a polarising, divisive figure both here and abroad. Jen, is this the end of the matter or will you be seeking a pardon? Right now, we're just thrilled with the outcome that we've just negotiated. It was, it was the result of complex negotiations with the Department of Justice, supported and aided by Australia's diplomacy to get to this point. Mm. Right now, we just want to enjoy the fact that he's home in Australia, that we got the outcome, that, you know, that he is a free man, that there are no restrictions on him. We've had the admission from the US government in the context of that plea deal that no actual harm was caused as a result of WikiLeaks publications. And I think people need to remember that. This is a case about journalism. He was he had to plead guilty to a, a, a crime committing um, cons conspiracy to commit espionage mm. for publishing evidence of war crimes and human rights abuse. And I think the fact that we've managed to get him out of prison rather than spending 175 years in a US prison is a win that we will be celebrating yeah. and enjoying before we talk about what's next. What, uh, but ha has the, the word pardon been discussed privately? Of course, the word pardon has been discussed over the last number of years. Uh, it is something that I think press freedom groups are talking about already because of the precedent that was set that it would be the right thing to do to give him a pardon, given the free speech implications of what just happened and the chilling mm. effect of that prosecution. What we're interested in is not just a pardon for Julian, but in changing the law to make sure that no other journalist can be prosecuted so, in this way under the Espionage Act. So you will be pursuing that then, to get pardoned? We will be looking at all options, but right now we're just enjoying the fact that he's home and he's safe. But Understood. of course, we're calling on all of his supporters to continue the fight for press freedom and changing okay. the laws. Well, never happens again. on that point, I mean, there are those, uh, his opponents who say he's an activist, he's not a journalist. If he were a journalist, he, he would have put more attention or more care into redacting names, etc. What do you say to that? WikiLeaks employed an extensive redaction process with all of their media partners. And to say that he's not a journalist, he's won more journalism awards than any other journalist in Australia or around the world. So to suggest he's not a journalist and that WikiLeaks didn't do their job, people need to look at the facts and the evidence that we put before the court to, to inform themselves properly about what actually happened. Stella, I'll finish with you now. I mean, I know you've been asked this countless times over the past 12 hours or so, but what is the plan next? Uh, Will he return to WikiLeaks? Will he stay quiet? Well, Julian is a free speech advocate and he will utilise his free speech uh, to defend human rights, to denounce injustice like he's always done. Mm. Uh, and that is his, his right and his freedom. Do you have the stomach <laughs> to, to continue, for him to continue <laughs> doing that kind of stuff and potentially getting in trouble again down the track? Well, no person should be uh, in trouble for denouncing injustice and, and defending human rights. That's the standard we need to maintain, and hopefully it is a standard that has now been restored with Julian's freedom. OK, Stella and uh, Jen, I know you're busy this morning, but appreciate you setting aside some time for us. Thank you so much.